customers leave an estimated 4.6 trillion US dollars behind in abandoned online shopping carts. There can be a plethora of reasons to explain it, but one of the biggest issues is the checkout process. According to Baymart Institute, 21% of consumers abandon their carts because the checkout process is too long or complicated. So how do you know how your checkout stacks up? The answer, you let visitor behavior show you what your visitors are experiencing and what's stopping them from checking out. Battery Station is a UK-based big commerce website that sells batteries of all shapes and sizes. With people searching and adding products to their carts, the team believed that the checkout may be the culprit of the high cart abandonment rate. Now they just need to prove it and fix it. I'm Angie with Lucky Orange, and we're going to look at Battery Station's checkout process to spot potential issues that visitors and customers would experience. Then we'll use dynamic heat maps and form analytics to gain even more insight. Let's head over to the Battery Station website to get started. Typically, we would evaluate the home page, but this time we're changing it up. We're going straight to the checkout. I've already added a product to my cart to help speed things along. Now, there are a few things that have popped out to me. One, there are two ways to check out. You can go to the cart or the checkout page directly. If a visitor clicks on view cart, they have the option to calculate shipping directly from the cart. Once they have input their postal code, shipping options generate instantly. That information then carries through to the rest of the checkout process, which is fantastic. According to Baymart Institute, 50% of visitors abandon their carts because of surprise costs, like shipping. So providing this information in the cart is exceptionally helpful to visitors. However, if visitors go straight to checkout instead of going through the cart, the experience changes. Instead, shipping costs are now buried on step four of the checkout. Two, now that we're moving into the actual checkout process, I need to point out the guest checkout here. That is an excellent opportunity to get your visitors accustomed without requiring them to log in or create a new account. However, the next step is the billing address, and it gets a little confusing. Once you enter in the postal code, you have to select find address instead of next, and then select your address from the dropdown. Then you get to this form. Do visitors get confused or frustrated? I'm wondering if there are fields here, like a phone number, that are causing a high abandonment rate. We'll find out in a little bit. Lastly, I want you to look at your multiple payment options. That's great that you offer so many options, but what do your visitors want? Are you offering the payment methods that they are expecting? Now that we pinpoint our possible areas of concern, we're going to use visitor behavior to find out more. To start, we'll head over to Dynamic Heat Maps. Lucky Orange Dynamic Heat Maps show you where people click or how far down a web page they scroll. Right now, we're looking at a click heat map. So the brighter the color, the more clicks an element has received. I'm starting in the shopping cart. As I expected, visitors to this big commerce website are using the shipping calculator to find out those shipping costs before heading to checkout. Now the bigger question, are people using the cart or going straight to the checkout? If we go back to the home page and click on the cart dropdown, we can see that most people are going straight to checkout. That means that these visitors have to go through four steps information to see those shipping costs. I would suggest adding the shipping calculator to the checkout. Since we've seen that most people go straight to checkout, offering this may help ease some of those surprise costs. Now we're going to head into the billing address, but we won't stay in dynamic key maps. Instead, we're switching over to Lucky Orange Form Analytics. Form Analytics looks at the fields of a form and shows us things like which fields had the highest abandonment rate or took the longest to complete. Looking at the BAM report for this form, we can spot the two fields easily with the highest abandonment rate, company and phone number. Company, which isn't required to complete the form, has a 43% abandonment rate. The phone number field has a 35% abandonment rate. Even though it's explained how the phone number will be used, it could be that their phone number doesn't have texting capabilities or they just don't want to receive text updates from the courier. I would suggest clicking into the fields or the report to look at the session recordings, which act like a DVR for your website, 
to see exactly what happened to those people who abandoned the form at that field. I would also suggest making these form fields collapsible, which would look something like this in your checkout process. If someone wanted to add in a company name or their phone number for shipping updates, they certainly could. But since it's collapsed by default, other visitors and customers not interested in providing that information wouldn't be impacted by it. Lastly, we need to evaluate the payment methods. Heat maps show us that slightly more people use debit and credit card options than PayPal, but we need to find out more. I would run a poll asking visitors for their preferred payment methods. If visitors were able to check out through Amazon Pay or Apple Pay, they may be more primed to complete their purchase. This poll could shed welcome light onto those preferences. To recap this website analysis of Battery Station, one, duplicate the cart level shipping calculator in the checkout form. Let people find out how much shipping will cost before they get to step four in the checkout process. Two, update the billing address form. Make the company name and phone number fields collapsed so that it can only be used for those most interested in those fields. Continue to evaluate it with form analytics. And three, run a poll to find out more about visitor preferences, like payment methods. Use the information to understand what can be added or removed to make that checkout process easier for visitors and customers. This big commerce website has incredible opportunities to grow sales with just a few updates driven by visitor behavior. Those insights will turn these checkout negatives into positives in no time. To try Lucky Orange on your BigCommerce website, check us out in the BigCommerce app marketplace or by visiting us online at luckyorange.com. To watch more website analysis videos like this one, be sure to click on the subscribe button below.